Today we are clearing out all the food areas in my home, decluttering where necessary, and reorganizing each of the spaces. The pantry is a mess, and the main fridge is even more of a mess and smells. Then we also got our freezers and the backup fridge to address, and organize it all before preschool pickup. So let's get to it, starting with the main fridge. It's such a mess. There's no way I can organize it with everything in here, nor can I clean it properly with everything in here. So I'm gonna pull everything out, put it on the counters, so I can give this a proper, thorough wipe down, get the stink out, and then we'll put everything back. That actually deserves to go back in here. That's not rotten. If you're trying to cut out soda from your life, this is my number one recommendation. Certain Kroger stores have it, but it tastes as similar to Dr. Pepper as kombucha can taste, but it's been great at getting me unaddicted to diet Dr. Pepper. The entire fridge is cleared out and something spilled over here and is absolutely stinking. So we are going to wipe it up. I'm also going to vacuum out all these crumbs here and we're gonna get this all cleaned up before we put everything back. Everything was pretty sticky in the fridge, so the vacuum wasn't quite as effective as I hoped it would be, but it got a decent amount cleaned up. Now for these shelves, before I pull them out, I put a tiny mark next to the opening that they're plugged into, because I've always had to readjust to find the right level once I plug them back in in the past, so we are learning from our mistakes and marking it from now on so it's easy to plug back in the first time. Then I'm scrubbing out all the stickiness from the bottom of the fridge with my Scrub Daddy and Scrub Daddy Power Paste before moving on to hand washing all the drawers and shelves. As I am washing all this, I want to check in with y'all. I love reading comments on my videos. I try to respond to as many as I can always, and I want to know, it's the end of January now, and how are y'all coming along with those New Year's resolutions? What were they? Are you still going strong on them? I had a couple resolutions and I'll admit the first one I failed on quite early on. Like in the first few days of the new year, I set a resolution to do one single minute of active workout like push-ups, sit-ups, jumping jacks, just something in the first minute of waking up to get me hyped for the day. But unfortunately, um, when I wake up in the morning, I'm tired and tired my has zero interest or motivation to be active and I fell off that resolution quite quickly. But this is why I have multiple resolutions because my next resolution was to get more organized with my time and utilize my planner to block out each hour of my day while my kids are at preschool to maximize my productivity while I have free time. And so far, it's been working out. I actually have been able to post multiple videos a week because of this and reduce wasted time scrolling on my phone in the middle of the day because I don't have time blocked out for that, so I do not do it. So if you have been wanting to get more efficient with your days, I highly recommend time blocking or at least just mapping out your week on Sundays. Time to clear some stuff out of here that's expired, I know is old, this is so disgustingly rotten. I don't know if it's picking up, but <laughs> the juices in this mozzarella are a neon yellow color now. We got all of our healthy-ish hot dogs. I don't know if there's such thing as a healthy hot dog, but my kids need protein and hot dogs and chicken nuggets are pretty much the only protein they're willing to eat. So they will get hot dogs and chicken nuggets. Next bucket we have here is our bucket chock full of probiotics. My husband has gotten super into probiotics lately. I mean, he's gotten me on the probiotic train too. I feel like my gut does feel a lot better. I didn't realize that it didn't always feel good until I realized that it feels better with probiotics. We also have almost completely cured my youngest eczema problem. He can't have dairy, or if he does, it has to be very limited. And we give him some of this eczema medical food probiotic every single day, or at least every other day, just in one of his drinks. And his eczema is almost all gone on the back of his legs. I actually, I'm sorry, I don't even know how much this is. My husband buys it. I hope it's not a million dollars. Crossing my fingers, it's not expensive. I don't care how much it is though. It's helped my little one with his eczema, so 
we have back backups on backups of this. All right, we didn't have any food in this one, so it's not actually very dirty. I've been apprehensive about buying dividers and more things to go into my refrigerator because it gets messy so fast, but I feel like in this case, I should probably buy dividers because right now, it's all just tossed in here. I have been addicted to green beans lately. I fry up a massive plateful and eat them every single day. So I've been buying the Costco massive size bags whenever they look good and I go through them so fast. Considering that green beans are the only green thing in our household right now, I think this is just going to become a fruit drawer. And then this can just not go in a drawer because we don't need a dedicated vegetable drawer for the only vegetable we have in this house. Oh, this is all nasty. I gotta wash this off. It's got some weird gross juice on it, but I need to put a fresh, fresh paper in with the fruit so they stay fresher for longer. All right, I don't have any real strategy here other than things that my family didn't like and they're just wasting away in the fridge. We're gonna toss those. So I'm dumping this chocolate ripple milk out, <laughs> trying to find ways to get calcium into my boys so that they can have bones that grow. And my twins don't really like cow milk that much. My youngest can't even have cow milk, otherwise he gets terrible eczema. So my youngest loves this ripple kids it's pea milk. They fortified it with tons of calcium, vitamins and stuff. I highly recommend this. My youngest loves it, but my twins don't like it. So I got the Ripple chocolate just to see if they would drink it. Maybe I could say for dessert every night, we would have this Ripple chocolate and really they're just getting their calcium in, but they don't even like the Ripple chocolate. So we're tossing that. At least one of my kids likes this. So we're going to keep this and we're keeping the cow milk too because my twins will at least drink some of it. They just prefer water. And then I actually have been loving the unsweetened vanilla ripple milk. I'll have a bowl of cereal every so often. This stuff is good, I think. And actually, I need y'all's help. Comment below, since I am struggling at getting my twins to drink their milk, what kind of milk do you guys drink? Why do your kids like it? I need to figure some way to get calcium into my twins so that they don't have millions of broken bones when they're older. All right, I didn't realize we opened this from the bottom. I recently bought this from Costco, highly recommend. I've been putting it in my kids' lunch boxes and they all love it and it's super healthy. Oh, another healthy hack and then I'll keep to decluttering. But this Sabra, Dark chocolate dip is a way that I've tricked my kids into eating some somewhat healthier desserts. Not a lot of sugar, only six grams of sugar per serving. Healthy fats, it's really just hummus and they've added dark chocolate and a little bit of sugar to it. And my kids love it as a dessert. All right, I'm gonna put salad dressings here. We have a decent amount of salad dressings, although we have not been eating salad as much as we should. This is the mayo that I use for cooking sandwiches, everything. I love it. It is an avocado oil mayo by Primal Kitchen. Not, nothing, in, nothing I'm talking about is sponsored. These are just the things we like and eat frequently. All right, I have a bunch of mushrooms here. Are my, mushrooms aren't fruit, they're fungi, but I'm gonna put them in with the fruits. I don't know if that's correct or not, if I should be storing them in like the fruit setting, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I have leftovers that I intend on eating today and I know I will eat them today, so I'm gonna keep them all. We do a lot of hummus in our house and this is by far our favorite brand. We often mix our hummus with this olive tapenade too. So good. But we have so many jellies right now. I don't know at what point we got this out of control and got bajillions of jellies but I think some of these are getting pretty low. I'm just gonna consolidate these and we're gonna have a very berry mixture one because we don't need two separate, almost empty, different berry flavored ones. We should actually be able to fit all of our jams down here easily now. I feel like this apple sauce 
can fit down there too. I like to keep the condiments like ketchup, mustard, the barbecue sauces that my kids specifically like all on the bottom shelf here. That way when we're having dinner, if they want to add some sort of condiment to their meal, they can fetch it from the fridge themselves. Don't, don't ask me why. My kids love mustard. Regular yellow mustard, Dijon mustards. They all could eat so much mustard. Above that, I'll put the barbecue sauces and hot sauces that my husband likes. Notice my husband likes the fancier sauces. My kids are just happy with cheapy sweet baby rays and Heinz tomato ketchup. But my husband is a little bit bougier, so he gets his high end hot sauces and barbecue all to himself. I put all the hot sauces up here and then barbecue and buffalo sauce is here. Last area of the door to fill is right here. Hopefully these fit. Oh, they just fit. This is kind of my cooking shelf, I guess. I ended up venturing into my storage cabinet for my unused storage items. And I found this clear shoe box that isn't the prettiest, but it works well enough at holding all the probiotics so that they stay upright and don't just start rolling all over this bottom drawer. I'll put our spare one-off kombuchas right behind here. So this is just our gut health drawer. I think most of our kombuchas are in the outside fridge, but at least for now, this is our kombucha and probiotic drawer. This is, this is extreme. I realize this. Blame my husband. I'm a supportive wife, so I will support him if he wants to be full of all these weird little bacteria. He can do what he wants with his body. And if he's buying it for me too, and it's making me feel better, I'm all for that. This is my lunch. So actually I'm taking this out right now because I'm making this for my lunch currently. My husband takes this for his gut too. So I'm putting it in the gut drawer. After all that work, I don't like how this looks just sticking up in the back, but I need this to hold all the little individual guacamoles. So I'm just gonna cut this part off. It can be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, but I'm not gonna buy individual holders just for these guacamoles. It looks so much better. We have the butters, cooking stuff, dressings. All of our jellies are at the bottom out of frame here. We got the eggs, leftovers that we will eat tonight for dinner. All of the pasta sauces here, some good old white queso. This is kind of the miscellaneous stuff right up here. Miscellaneous little items. All of our drinks that we frequently drink are there. Cheeses and meats down here. The gut health bowl area with the probiotics. All of our fruits and fungi go in here. All the kid accessible condiments go here. My husband's condiments and hot sauces. Now that this is done, we are going to move to the freezer below it. And I'm going to try to work through the freezer somewhat quickly because I don't want anything to be sitting out for too long to start thawing out and then ultimately get freezer burned after it goes back into the freezer. So I quick pulled everything out and vacuumed out the drawer before assessing what stays and how to organize. Now for what stays and what goes. I'm keeping all the frozen fruit because we've been doing a lot of smoothies around here. I'm putting all of the frozen fruit. We got frozen jackfruit mm, up top. But if you don't know what jackfruit is, it's this massive fruit that looks like this. It tastes really good in my opinion. Not everyone likes it. If you buy it fresh, you can find them fresh usually at the Asian grocery stores. But yeah, you can't get them at Target or Walmart if you want to get it there. And it's really hard to extract the jackfruit. But if you want an idea of what it tastes like, if you've ever had juicy fruit gum, juicy fruit gum is flavored after jackfruit, the fruit. So chew a piece of juicy fruit gum and that can give you an idea of what jackfruit tastes like. If you like that, you might want to venture into your local Asian town and get an actual jackfruit to try or go to Whole Foods and get this frozen jackfruit to try or put in your smoothies. Eat that. I'm going to get all this ice cream and put it right at the top. Easy access for me. Okay. I'm going to see how these work out. Not perfect, but better than nothing in the time for the time being. Chicken nuggets go in this one. We got a lot of chicken nuggets. These are the chicken nuggets I get from Sam's Club, and they are a dupe of the Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. They're the they're not an exact dupe, but if you want Chick-fil-A style nuggets without going to Chick-fil-A, this is the closest dupe I have ever found, and it's at Sam's Club. We got a lot of chicken nuggets. <laughs> 
maybe these ones on here. I'll put these freezer pots in here. Then we kind of have a pocket here and another little pocket here. All the chicken nuggets in this pocket. We have so many different kinds of chicken nuggets. We like to switch it up. Same thing, but switch it up a little bit so that they don't get sick of any specific kind. And we got miscellaneous frozen sides here. That is about as organized as I can make this thing. All of our freezer pops here, meatballs and chicken breasts here, random side items, all the different various chicken nuggets there. Pull this out. We got some of my easy access desserts. I have a whole dessert fridge outside. And then our fruits for smoothies. I need to warm up a little bit. So before we go into the cold garage to empty out and declutter the cold freezer and fridge out there, I am going to tackle this pantry. Now I really probably don't have that much to actually declutter in here. I just have to properly organize it because it's, it's not right now. There's plenty of room for me to put more stuff in this basket, but instead everything is just tossed in here and it makes it look like a mess because it is a mess. So I need to organize and make the most of all the space that I have in here. And then we'll just get rid of the things we absolutely need to get rid of. But there really shouldn't be that much to declutter in here. I'm hoping the thing that we mostly declutter is just packaging and boxes that take up an excessive amount of space that we can recycle. And then I have the single items and packages organized nicely in the bins I already have. The packaging takes up so much room in the pantry and really, what I should do is individually package these in Ziploc bags so that they're ready to go in the mornings when I'm making my kids lunches or when they're helping me to make their lunches. I mean, look at this. There's not actually that much product left in this massive box that's taking up a lot of room. So might as well put them in Ziplocs, organize them nicely, make my mornings easier and free up a lot of space in the pantry. I washed my hands. I got our Ziploc snack bags and I'm just gonna start filling them. Once I have all these baggies filled, I'll have a dedicated bin for lunchbox snacks that they'll go into. I believe I've mentioned in other videos um, somewhat recently that we are in a gluten restricted household. We're not fully gluten free at this point. We found that my youngest skin issues are mostly from dairy, not as much from gluten. So just for our sanity and just because my kids like the taste of gluten and we don't see any negative effects from it really, we do have gluten back in our house, but we still will buy gluten-free stuff just so it's not too much gluten, if that makes any sense. So they still get it, they're just not bogged down by it. And I have actually found that when I reduce my gluten, I myself feel a lot better. Do I still eat gluten sometimes? Yes, I love I love the taste of gluten items. <laughs> but I have reduced it because it does help my gut feel better. I feel like everything in moderation is kind of how I approach things. I try to offer as much healthy stuff as possible, but you know, sometimes the bad stuff just tastes good. And sometimes calories are just calories when your kids don't wanna eat and you just want them to eat because they do need calories to grow. There's already so much packaging that needs to go out. We like trying a lot of new stuff and sometimes things just aren't hits when you think they would be. No one likes these cookies. The fruit lovers there. We have these Rice Krispie Treat type things here. And then these are mini fruit bars. So this is our dessert bucket here. So all of our dessert items, fruit leathers, fruit bars, and Rice Krispie treats are in here. I'm gonna put the Kodiak cake graham cracker snacks in here. Cause these are kind of not super sweet, but kind of sweet snack items that can go in lunch boxes. Putting all of my yummy dried fruit stuff in here. And we have this mess here. This is another lunchbox snack bin. We have our applesauce pouches in here, and then I'm putting a whole bunch of these Ziploc bags that I just filled with various snacks in the corner here. My kids can 
easily reach this, pick out what they want for snack during the day or what they want in their lunchbox for school. We have extra space on the side here, so I'm just going to put more chips and stuff that my kids like, because they can access this row here and just make it easy for them. Oh, we're veggie straw obsessed. We have every single flavor of veggie straws in this house. Next, we have all of our noodles here. We eat through these mung bean noodles so quickly, so I need to order a larger one of these. I've had it on my to-do for a while. I need to just do it, but I have not yet. So I'm just gonna convert it to this cereal holder for now. And this can hold a lot more than the other airtight container. Just cleared out four boxes of noodles in this one container. And now I'm going to consolidate this into this container here. Now we have about 5,000 of these fava bean boxes of noodles in here. I have them all just chilling on the very bottom row as overflow. And the reason we bought so many is we bought them originally from Costco and we absolutely loved them. They seriously taste like regular fully glutenified noodles, but they are not only gluten-free, but they're so much healthier than regular pasta. So when I saw the little star in the corner of the price tag at Costco, you know me, former Costco employee, I do a lot of shop with me there. I knew that that meant it's going to not be carried at Costco anymore soon. So my husband went and just bought out pretty much the little bit that was left at the store that was still a lot in our pantry because it was double the price if you bought it anywhere other than Costco. So there you have it. We have our chickpea noodles, fava bean noodles, and mung bean noodles. Here is our overflow noodles. All of this is cute in here. This corner is kind of a mess over here, so I need to get this space figured out. I don't have my labeler on me for now, just so I know what it is and I don't have my labeler, I'm gonna just stick it in here, which technically should go over with the flowers. This is our gluten-free flour by the brand King Arthur, I believe. I just got it at Target. As long as I have all my baking stuff over here, I'm gonna move this on over to be with the rest of the baking stuff. All right, that looks much better. Next, this shelf here has gotten quite messy. It's a lot of baking mixes. This goes with all of our noodles. This is my favorite way to make cupcakes and actually get a little bit more protein into my kids, 15 grams of protein for, per serving. And it really does just taste like a cupcake. All of our gluten-free, baking mixes. I'm going to stick those all together here. Pulling down my husband's candy and snack area. There's so many bags in here, but multiples are duplicates that can be consolidated into one single bag. When it's something I know we eat through fairly quick to the point where we already have the backup for it, I consolidate to save room. So we have our pasta overflow up here, all of our chips, rice, corn kernels for our air popper for popcorn, and then our cereals. Save the bottom for last here. It's hard to get a good angle of this area. This is my second bag of random packaging trash. Some of this stuff, even though it hasn't been opened yet, because we have so much room in our refrigerator now, I'm gonna put stuff like this black olive tapenade and pesto in the fridge just to make sure that I see it and we start using it because I feel like it's been sitting on this bottom shelf a little bit too long. So these are going in the fridge. I wanna make Trace Leche's cake one of these days. So I got some evaporated milk and sweetened condensed milk. I already have heavy whipping cream, but I love Trace Leche's. I am for sure making that sometime soon. This is what I'm talking about. All the fava beans that we bought out from Costco, 
are being stored right down here. But we have been working through these. We probably had about 10 more of these boxes taking up space down here within the last couple months. So we are quickly working through our supply here. All the overflow goes in the back here and now I have to vacuum up the floor and then we have to move on to the fridge and freezers in the garage because I'm starting to run low on time. Here is the final look of the pantry. I really didn't throw out very much food. It was just packaging to throw out and then reorganizing so that everything looks nice and utilizing the bins that I have in here. Yeah, everything looks so much nicer. This is all the trash that I'm taking out. That's going into the laundry room, but this is just tons of packaging. We are out in the garage now. Wow, the top of this freezer is disgusting looking. And we are going to look through what we got in this deep freezer, my dessert freezer, <laughs> and then just our random miscellaneous backflow outdoor fridge. Look at all those pizzas we have. My husband is obsessed with these Bonza chickpea pizzas because they're gluten-free and he has 100% cut out gluten from his personal diet. But this really is a much healthier pizza. He has one a day, even though they are very expensive. So I'm just gonna stick all of his pizzas together in this corner down here. Then I'll be delicious gluten-y pizzas are here. For a while, we did these Quest pizzas. My kids and I still like them, so we'll keep them, but these are not repurchases. We have our big things of fruit for smoothies here. Trying to do better at having things stick up so that we can actually see what items are. That was the quickest task I have done yet today, probably because the pizzas were already organized upright, so that made it much easier. But it's pretty clear to see everything we have in here. We have some meatballs, popcorn chicken, all of our pizzas, pretty straightforward, some fresh fruit, in the middle there and gluten-free frozen breads. Last freezer we got here is my dessert freezer. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put the yogurts in here. My kids that are allowed to have dairy love these Horizon yogurts. And I always freeze them because when I put them in their lunch box, by the time lunch rolls around, they're thawed, but still nice and cold. No one wants to be drinking a warm yogurt. So that is why we freeze all of our yogurt pouches for the most part. This is frozen Greek yogurt. They're really good and they actually have some protein in it, which you can't really say that about regular ice cream. So that's why I like getting the Greek frozen yogurt for myself and the kids. Kids, again, that can have it. The dairy-free ice cream we get is this Ripple dairy-free ice cream. It's the pea protein ice cream. All right, here is the dessert fridge now. I know it looks dirty down here, but I'm running real tight on time right now. So some things are just gonna have to give. It's not that bad. Everything's frozen and all bacteria is dead in here, or at least dormant, cause it's frozen. Might come back to life once it's not frozen anymore, but for now it's incapacitated. So we're just gonna close this up and forget about the dirt down there so that we can move on to the fridge. This is our backup fridge that we have outside that really just stores backup items of things that we go through really quickly. It stores a lot of our drinks and it's just completely unorganized and looks full when really it's not. It's just very unorganized and things are kind of thrown in willy nilly. So let's make it not willy nilly. I think this is like old backyard made home kombucha that I got at the farmer's market. But at this point, I, I can't remember how long ago I got it. I don't really know how long it's good for and there's no expiration and I don't want to die. So I think we're just going to have to say goodbye just in case it becomes poison after a certain date. And it was not marked since I bought it from some random little stand in the middle of nowhere.
Now, while I'm not doing a full clean out, that looks pretty gross. So I will clean this out. All right, that's better. The new and improved drink fridge and overflow fridge looks so beautiful. Here is the packaging and what I'm throwing out from that fridge. So really not that much was thrown out from the fridge. It just needed to be organized. Ooh, okay, my hands are frozen, but the rest of me is sweating. I really went into today thinking that I was going to be able to not only declutter and organize my fridge, freezers, and pantry, but also deep clean the whole kitchen. Obviously, the deep cleaning of the kitchen did not happen. I have to go pick up my kids from preschool and go enjoy a beautiful day. You can't always get everything you initially had planned done done in a day, but that doesn't mean it's not a success. I'm still super happy with all the progress we made in the kitchen. And my next video, we will be deep cleaning the remainder of the kitchen area. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click on one of the other videos or playlists floating over the screen at this point, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.